Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be starting a series of videos where we compare products to Fender and Gibson to see do other companies offer good products or better products at like or better prices. So to start the series, we're gonna be using the Dana Electro 84. Now the Dana Electro 84 is called the 84 because of 1984. Well, what's significant that year? Well, Steve Ray Vaughan was playing a bunch of Fender Strats, but he was also playing a non-Fender Strat style instrument with lipstick pickups. So Dane Electro has kind of recreated a version of that with lipstick pickups to give you that kind of sound and vibe and offer something unique to the market to compete probably with Fender. Let's just say it. It has a graphite nut. Now the graphite nut is already an improvement over the plastic made Fender nut at the same price point um, because it's gonna help the guitar stay in tune. And help the open string sound and ring a little better. The next improvement is the bridge. They're using a Wilkinson, although it's the Wilkinson WVS52K, which is the import version. But let me give you a couple options why I think it's already an improvement over what Fender offers. Now, the first thing is, is it has a push-in vibrato arm. So you can just push it in and leave it, or you can take it and turn it clockwise and it'll thread in so you can make it stiff and stay at one position or like I said, leave it kind of loose. That added with the intonation abilities of the Wolfenson, I think it's a vast improved, or a very improved tremolo system or vibrato system over Fender for sure. Necks are very similar. The uh, C-shaped neck on this is very similar to what Fender has to offer. Maybe slightly thicker, but there's probably a reason for that. I'll get to that in a second. So if you're familiar with the Fender-esque uh, necks, I think this is going to fit in your hand perfectly. You won't have to weird, uh, readjust or feel anything strange or weird. It is a 12-inch radius fretboard, and that is already cooler than what Fender offers. A 12-inch radius fretboard means that unlike Fender that's rounded at 9.5, or seven a quarter, this is flat like a Gibson Les Paul. What does that do for you? Well, it allows you to lower the action as low as you can and get no buzz or sizzled out notes, especially on a Strat style instrument because the issue is when people play a Strat style instrument, one of the things they like to do is they kind of like to use their pick and snap a note out. It's just a technique that everybody kind of uses that kind of so unlike just the soft playing if you're using funk you're probably snapping those notes as well when you hit a string really hard it's going to buzz it's just something it's going to do so what happens with a lot of fender style guitars you have to raise the action to not get it to do that this guitar the action is as low as you can possibly get a guitar and have no buzzing or issues or dead spots the, that brings me to the next point. This fit and finish on the frets were fantastic. Um, as good as any of my American Fenders for sure. So um, better than what the Made in Mexico offers in fit finish. In fact, Fender even proudly states that one of the advantages to buying the American over the, the Mexican is that the fit and finish on the front ends where Dan Electro is giving that to you for the same price. Tuning keys, these are Cluson style tuning keys, they're copies, and they're no different or better than what Fender is offering. Um, there's no win there for them on that. Now electronics, now this is where the guitar suffers a little bit. The five-way blade switch on this is the same typical five-way blade found on almost any import guitar. The Fender one is far superior in the way it feels and its quality and longevity for sure. However, these lipstick pickups are amazing. I love them. In fact, I like them more than my uh, Mexican-made pickups or my American-made single-coil pickups. In fact, before I say that in this video, if you look, I did a video a few weeks ago where I cut a lipstick pickup in half and I opened it up and looked inside of it. The reason why was because I had to know, are they the same kind of pickup? Why do these sound so sweet and good? And let me show you some of that. So I'm gonna show you some cleans and some, some dirties real quick. Um, on the cleans, one thing I notice is that the low end frequencies are smooth and round. And the high strings, the high end frequencies, are bell like and chimey. Right? And so I just. Now, 
the neck position that was great now we'll go to position four which is going to be a blend of your neck and middle pickup that's actually where my favorite position on this guitar is <laughs> Great. And then my next favorite position is going to be position two, which is a blend of the bridge and the middle again. And that's where you get that kind of snappy kind of. Yeah, see, I love that. Now on the overdrive, I really like the bridge position, which is something I would never say and have never said about any Fender guitar I've ever owned. <laughs> Is fantastic right off the bridge and again i'm just running a tube screamer right into the 65 deluxe with a greenback selection uh mic by a blue mic okay so that all being said after that it starts turning pretty much into what fender has to offer it's an alder body with a maple neck rosewood fretboard no gig bag included just like fender um nothing really spectacular after that point same kind of input jack quality so the interesting part of this whole video is that i just want to show some guitars that are like those those big guys that you might be looking at to give you something a little different. I have to give kudos to the Dana Electro guys. I was really, really impressed by the guitar, to say the least. If you know other brands that you think would be good in this fight out that I should reach out to and talk to, please let me know. Like I said, I've already talked to Reverend. And if you have comments about the, you've experienced this guitar, please put that in the comments, whether they're good or bad. I like to hear those things. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for your time. Well guys, we're getting closer to the 100,000 subscriber mark. The channel is now at 97,000 subscribers. So I'd like to point out that we're doing a couple things that have to, uh, to celebrate the 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, first, we're doing the charity uh, giveaway, which is we're giving three guitars to charity. We've picked, I've reached out to Guitars in the Classroom, and uh, you guys are also just suggesting other charities, so please do that in the comments. I was reading the comments on the last video about charities that you suggested and been looking into them. I'm gonna be giving three acoustic guitars away. I will be doing videos on each acoustic guitar, showing you how I set them up and which charity they went to. Those will be put on the Facebook page uh, for Know Your Gear. The other thing is to, uh, kind of honor you guys that have been supporting the channel for so long um i'm going to retire the know your gear t-shirt the way it looks now and change the logo and so that we can identify the pre and post 100,000 subscribers so if you're looking to get a shirt before they're not available they will be available up until 100,000 subscribers so their link is down below so it gives you an idea i'm pretty sure it's about 30 days out so it gives you an idea if you want to work with that and lastly, just to thank the patrons, we'll be doing some giveaways, uh, some really interesting stuff, and I'll be making those announcements very soon to you patron members. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys notice what I do uh, with your money. The patron guys that uh, and gals that send the money, I use to buy the equipment for the channel. So if you notice new cameras today, and if you notice new audio equipment today, please make note of that in the comments, because like I said, that was because of you guys. As always, again, I want to thank you again for your time, and know your gear. Know your gear, not your gear, your gear.